Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to practice setting in your bed. I never thought that you could like really set and practice volleyball in your bed, but you totally can. I'm going to show you how. Make sure you stick to the end for my best tips. Also, if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Jacoby. I always forget to introduce myself. I don't know why I do that, but hi, my name's Jacoby. I'm 22. I'm graduating college literally tomorrow. Ah, and I played, I've been playing volleyball for 12 years. So subscribe if you like volleyball and subscribe to my vlog channel if you like vlogs. Okay, okay, so what you're gonna need for this video is a ball. This is a regular size ball, but this is a beach ball, but that's just what I have. My regular indoor ball is at my house and that's in a different state, so sorry. <laughs> and then you're gonna need a bed or a couch, mattress, whatever you sleep on. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay back and you can put your head on a pillow if you're bougie, I'm just kidding. If you wanna feel like that, whatever, you're gonna put your head on a pillow. You're gonna lay like this. You're just gonna have your ball and literally you could do this while you're watching TV. Or listening to music, I wouldn't do it if you're listening, I mean if you're watching TV because you might get distracted and then you might miss and the ball will hit you in the face. That will happen. So, but anyways, this angle is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the first variation is regular setting. Cups of the rose. So, first little variation we're going to start off with is regular setting. I'm so sorry I'm like far away from the camera. That's just funny to me. So, we're just going to throw the ball in regular set. Now you want to keep it on your forehead instead of here too low or too high up here. So you want to go right in the middle of your chest. And you really want to focus on having your hands in the correct position. If you want a video on how to have or where to have your hands or how to set correctly, let me know and I'll make a new one because I have one that's pretty old but I can update it. Okay, so that's the first variation. Now, moving on. The second variation is low setting to high setting. Now we're gonna go low to high. So we're gonna set a low ball, high ball. Low ball, high ball. Low ball, high ball. Low ball, high ball. And you wanna keep it going as long as you can. Oh, I haven't done this in a minute. And also, this is a great arm workout because you are, your arms will get tired because they're above your head constantly. And you want to make sure that your touch on the ball is quick, that you're not holding or um, lifting the ball, because this is illegal, right? But this is not illegal. Notice the difference. Third is high to low. Next, we're going to go high to low. So a high ball, low. High ball, low. High ball, low. And also, this depends on how high your ceilings are. So obviously, don't hit your ceiling, but go as high as you can, as high as you, as high as you feel comfortable. And notice how if I mess up, I'm going to keep my touch going. Like I'm not just going to let it drop. I'm going to keep it going. But I just caught it for the sake of the video. <laughs> Fourth, we're going to set as high as we can. This is important because sometimes like you might be a setter. You might be like an out assistant setter. You're going to have to get the ball really high for your hitters sometimes. So it's good to practice sky ball in. Oh, see, I, I hit my ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry neighbors. Fifth variation, we're gonna go one-handed setting, left and right. Next little thing, it's gonna be left hand and right hand, one-handed setting. I love this, it's so useful and it's great to know how to do it. So we're gonna go like this, just touches on the ball, keeping it up and we're really just flicking it with our fingers. We really don't wanna get our palms involved. It's really just all wrist and all your fingers. We're doing all the work. And one-handed setting comes in handy when you can't get both hands on the ball, but you still want to set your team, you still want to set your hitters, you can pop it up with one hand. So practice that right and left. This is like my favorite skill because it is so like, it comes in handy, I swear. You can use it like pretty much all the time. This also works on your tipping as an, as an attacker because it works on your touch on the ball and your control. Because you can have control and just be tipping the ball around. Okay, next. Next variation, we're gonna do one-handed setting, but alternating hands. So, after you've done right and left for your um, one-handed setting, you're gonna go alternating. So that's just right to your left hand, right to your left, right to your left. And you wanna keep it going as long as you can. And remember, we're not holding the ball, we're not hitting it with our palms, because we don't wanna actually like, hit the ball, right? If you, if you wanna know how you can tell that you're hitting it with your palm, it's because the ball is gonna make this noise instead of that. It's gonna make that noise. So you wanna keep the ball going with your fingertips and not your wrists. I mean, no, no, your, not your palms. It's all about a light touch, but you wanna be firm with your hands. It's a soft touch, but you're firm. Don't forget that, that's important. 
Okay, we're done alternating. My arms are on fire. But this is also a great arm workout, so you're welcome. <laughs> And then lastly, we're gonna do setting sit-ups. Okay, this last one is the hardest one in my opinion, just because it's really hard to keep the control of the ball. Um, and it's kind of a workout move at the same time. So we're gonna do setting sit-ups. These are so fun to do once you master them and it makes you a really, really good setter because you have to control the ball while you're doing a movement. So you're gonna start here. You're going to go up. Oh, so you already messed up. And go down. And you can do as many as you want up down and notice how this trains like you having to keep your eye on the ball and you having to have the correct hands while moving this practice is like setting on the move and having to run up the ball and then set great great drill to do all right guys that's it for this video i really hope you liked it i know it's a little short but i just wanted to give you guys some quick drills that you can do at home for volleyball this video is for like beginners even for advanced people like collegiate players could do this just to get their reps in whatever it really doesn't matter anyone can do this video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe like this video um leave a comment down below because i like to respond to all my comments um uh, make sure that you follow me on tiktok and instagram if you'd like at jacoby.sims and i'll see y'all in my next video bye